All right, Mindy, right now I'm going to start off. This one's a little easy here to get going. With the we red have started pictures. We know what's going on. It's just the three double headers that we don't know. And uh, right now I'm starting to see some of the information start to pick up again. Anyways, here we go with uh, Garrett Cole at home, dollar fifty-five, and the total here is uh, eight and a half. Total's eight and a half. That's uh, gone up. There has been some steam reported here on the over in this one. Interesting. I mean, you know, it's Cole's on the mound. Uh, usually, kind of looks like an under. Uh, Red Sox here are crushing it as of late. They're playing well. Uh, offensively, after they had a little bit of a downturn there, 18 runs over their last three games. Uh, but I still think the Red Sox bats uh, get to Cole today. I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, Red Sox here on the run line um, to give myself a little bit of room because sometimes it takes them a little bit of time to get past uh, uh, Cole and his outings. Uh, maybe they'll have a little bit better time with that, you know, pretty decent bullpen. But going to go ahead and take the Red Sox here on the run line. All right, Mindy, going to go with Cutter Crawford here on the road. Yeah, maybe the line up is pretty high, certainly right now, if you think the way the uh, Yankees are kind of going about their business here to a certain extent. I mean, it's Boston that, I mean, you know, the Yankees are just fighting to try to stay above 500 at this point. They've lost 16 of their last 23 games. Boston has won seven of their last 11. Crawford just a 2.89 ERA in his last four starts, but Garrett Cole has been in a pretty good groove uh, of late. And uh, if this total is going to be up to eight and a half, uh, whatever, I'll, I will take the under. You maybe, I don't know if you're, I'll just go under. <laughs> I'll yes, go under. I'm alluding to I'll probably take the under later on. Oh, today. don't say it. Don't say it. Uh, Red Sox have gone under in 10 of their last 14. And uh, Cole's gone over in just four of his last 12 starts. So, Mindy, on the Red Sox here, I, I was maybe going to try the Yankees. And maybe if the line could go down just a little bit more, because I thought sure. it was high as 170. That's where I had it, yeah. So maybe it can get into some range where I can take a favorite uh, here in this one, but I'll take the under at eight and a half. I think it's fair to say it's eight and a half pretty much everywhere. And the chat's fired up and ready to go here. Yeah. Lots of info here from the chat today. Okay. I think Leroy's on the under here. Monday, Jeremy was here. Okay, I remember. I, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on, Red Sox. Here's a Damian with his play as well. He's going to be on the Boston and under. Sports girl might lean to the Sox. Here's Butterscotch. Got a lock already on this one with Boston on that run line. About a minus $1.50, but maybe you're thinking a one-run game. Leroy Sox run line and under. Fernando on the Yankees. He's also on the over. Okay. Hey, Josh Lauer. Hello. Nice to have you. Thanks for coming by from the network. Frankie's going to go under in this one. Thomas Lewis, Red Sox money line. Mindy's taking just the Red Sox up a money line, right, Mindy? Run line, run line. Oh, you did say run line? Yeah. Oh, boy, I should have maybe considered uh, that. But I'm already down for the under. I don't know why I missed that when I uh, – Boston run line for Marcel. Boston run line for Ron. Under, 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 Jacoby. Okay. Okay, well, maybe, maybe I missed that one. That's okay. Got plenty of opportunity. Well, we don't – I don't know what – Yeah, we, we do. do. I well, know. I know, but the double headers, I mean, I you know – I might purposefully, you know, jump to the other play because the information will be somewhat limited. I mean, come on. Okay, another one, though, where we know what's going on here with the Cubs. And the, we don't know what's going on with the Cubs and the Royals. Because <laughs> no, we don't them, exactly know what's going playing on. Playing with the game, but we do know that Steele, $1.95 here, and the total – 
Uh, nine over 15. We just saw some money uh, come in and press this one lower. Steam just reported as we were kind of coming on the air here on the under in this one, Mindy. Okay. I mean, I tend to agree with that one as well, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at how good Steel has done and how not good Singer has done. He's sitting there with a uh, 6.52 ERA there on the road. Just doesn't pitch well. Uh, gives up 2.4 walks per nine innings there. Uh, and yeah, I, I kind of feel like the Cubs just totally gave that game away to the Royals yesterday. Uh, but that's the way it works sometimes. And I kind of feel like uh, overall this season, I see a lot of base running mistakes. And I kind of feel like that just shouldn't be the case anymore uh, with these guys that get paid the big bucks that they're Head's not always mentally in these games here. But, yeah, I mean, Steele, I think, is just too dominant uh, for this um, this Royals team today. I'm taking the Cubs on the run line, Ramon. I'll take a minus one and a half runs. Getting a little oh, bit of money there. Okay. All right, yeah. All right. Against your Royals. Yeah, singer stinky. <laughs> All right. I, I try to convince you every I time. I know, you do. Not. Terrible. And the, the Cubs, the Cubs, Cubs why live the Cubs, in the Central. Come on. Why does this happen to the Cubs? Look, Steele's 4-0 in his last five starts. Um, numbers aren't great. 4.71 in, in those five starts. Cubs, they've still won 17 of 25 uh, here. I'm going to – let's see here. I know we got some plays. Jay Smoove said Cubs run line. Oh, let's see here. Oh, we've got Sports Girls got a lock on the Kansas City. She does like Singer. I was trying to look. What was the left on base yesterday? I mean, seriously, oh, like it was man. terrible. Can't believe the Cubs did that. I'm still mad about it, Ramon. Leroy on the under, Damien on the Royal. There's enough uh, Royals support here. Cubs run line, though, for Frankie. There you go, Frankie. Okay. I'll be on the under. Looks like I've missed out <laughs> here a little bit. Looks like I've just missed out on uh, getting that good number at this point. I'll take the under. Bionics on the Cubs. Okay. Uh, we're just kind of, kind of going to order here now of these, and then if we end up, you know, without opinions or uh, whatnot, we'll just see it when we get there. Okay, here we go. Oh, let me just update the line. This is going to be Rays and Angels, game one. You can trust the – I think in, for the most part, you can trust once the sports books are listing the game. We know anything can happen. We know anything can happen. But – from what they're following and the way things are shaking out, uh, you know, it feels somewhat solid. This would be game one. This would be the early game. Now I'm showing uh, actually this game now. Uh, all those games, I believe, have been moved to – or I think I'm actually like, out of order here on these. now. Three o'clock the game? Okay. We can the, do yeah. So the Angel game has been moved to 4 Eastern, 3 Central, 1 Pacific. But maybe we know the – Let's just say we know the starting pitching looks pretty solid here with this one. Uh, the other games are three Eastern, two Central, noon Pacific. I'll bring those up in just a moment. So sorry about that. Yeah, no, uh, problem, no problem. But this one we do, you know, like I said, the other game we don't know if we know the starting pitching. Here I think for at least this game with Tyler Glass now, Chase Silseth uh, in game one. Yeah, pretty uh, good starting pitching matchup here, ERA-wise. They match up nicely. Neither one really gives up the long ball here. They do both put you know, you know put guys on via the walk. Uh, Glass now, 3.8 walks per nine. Sil Silseth, uh, 4.7 walks per nine. Uh, that's, again, the only thing that kind of ever really uh, concerns me is if these guys have an off day and put these guys on uh, via the walk here. Uh, but I'm going to still go with the Rays. I think they get this game. I got the they got a little bit of momentum from uh, last night's uh, what ten inning victory. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Rays as uh, short favorites here today. That's ah, gone up a little bit on me. 
right at minus 130. Looks like it's at minus 140 right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not. But yeah, we we had the. It wasn't easy. We had the Braves last night as a consensus play on the show. Uh, Glass now three and zero in his last three starts, a one point three five ERA, but still Seth been solid. He's not gonna run it. His deep glass now doesn't run that deep right now, and uh, but still Seth a one point five nine ERA. Like you said, could be some plenty of bullpen action here uh, in in both these uh, in both these games. I would uh, assume here. So uh, let's see, man. Eight over 15 now. I've got to think that this one, I'm going to be on the over here in this one in the first game. Let's see with the chat. Good luck. Good yeah. luck. <laughs> well, and these are, it's it's almost different than like even a rescheduled doubleheader, right? Because these teams, we didn't know on the air yesterday, this was, we did, the news started to come out, you know, during the early betting set, you know, that this was going to be taking place, that the game times were going to be changed. But, uh, you know, these teams didn't get wind of it less than 24 hours ago. Yeah. <clears throat> Scrambling out there. A little bit. Butterscotch on Tampa Bay. I'm sure right after the game they're hitting the plane before the weather even comes. I mean, they've got it. you got to get going to your next stop. Remember, this is – Sunday would be getaway day, and uh, uh, now, you know, you're going to get out of town. Get away. Yeah. Oh, sports girl, yeah. Uh, she says, will this game happen? Uh, but these games are fine today. It's tomorrow as the, the weather is expected to reach, and that's why these doubleheaders are being played today. Yeah. Hey, Thomas, you know, look at Thomas. He's got the blue. We, we, have, we have the same color. Uh, there, as uh, right. uh, he's got his blue on. I've got my blue on. Okay, so, oops, I, think I missed the I think I missed it there. I hope everybody's playing got uh, play got in there. But uh, so yeah, you guys are a little bit <clears throat> reluctant. It seems like to get involved here uh, with this one. We'll come back to it. Okay, uh, next one. Oh, what we can do here, Mindy? I don't. Even, I do have maybe a little bit of a line here. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I'm not even sure. Uh, this is my this might be a my line here uh, in this one. I don't know if this is actually a real line. It's not. This was not on the board anywhere. I'm not even sure I've seen this. Let me see here. Anyways, Anderson Espinosa possibly here for the Padres. <laughs> the story with Espinosa. This is finally Anderson Espinosa has finally made it to the. He was one of the high, most highly touted prospects over the last, oh, I don't know, well, when was he around? Uh, seven years ago at double Tommy John surgery, and then we got traded to the Cubs and probably was going to be out of baseball. I don't know, but the Padres sign him back and take a chance with him. It gets a start here, and uh, this is a Jar Jeff, uh, Jarvis. I didn't even spell his name right here on the screen. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Yeah, because uh, we were doing Jarvis and Darvish earlier. <laughs> oh, is that, maybe that's what it was, especially with the Padres. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is Bryce Jarvis uh, for the Diamondbacks. And uh, so a bullpen game, obviously, for these teams here, Mindy, if you can make any sense of this. And I'm not going to hold it against you if this <laughs> line is incorrect. I imagine uh, – Maybe the total could be a little higher, but I think the Padres will be a favorite here. Maybe not that high. Yeah, I mean, I guess it might come down to, like you said, these bullpen games. So I can look at these bullpen statistics, right? The Padres, uh, 3.9 overall there, Diamondbacks 4.71. Uh, Padres still only, you know, getting up there with 4.27 runs per game. But defensively, they play really, really well. Uh, only allow 3.73 runs here per game. Uh, so again, it's one of those, like, I kind of want to lean the Padres on this one, but I don't have enough real, I think, pitching information. It's a little bit of an unknown. Uh, so even if I take all of that as a whole, I think I'm just going to go ahead and go under on this game based off of bullpen, uh, based off of, uh, you know, what these teams have been doing defensively with keeping runners off the bag. 
Uh, and then, of course, uh, you know, take a look at last night. Not a whole lot of runs scored there. Okay, yeah. yeah, I don't know what's going on uh, necessarily here. So uh, I'll go against Espinoza uh, since he never panned out. Uh, I was out for a handicap. <laughs> Uh, you know, he really was, you know, he was a top draft choice. Padres figured he would be um, all that. One of those guys that you take at the top of the draft and really, you know, put time and effort. He was drafted, I believe, as a 17-year-old and uh, just never panned out. He's 25 now, so yeah, seven or eight years ago, whatever it was. So, all right, I, I don't know. I uh, Diamondbacks for Ron, Sports Girls leading Padres, Thomas Diamondbacks money line, uh, Dre's on the under, and I'll, I'll take the I'll take the Diamondbacks <laughs> Mindy on the under here in this one. Bionics is maybe Padres. Yeah, no opinions really from the chat. Okay, and one more here with the. Marlins and the Dodger. I don't even know this one. I have less, even less info. And could the Marlins actually put Braxton Garrett uh, up here into a, in, into the spot? I didn't look to see. Maybe they. Uh, I did. I didn't look ahead here on the show. Probably should be more better planned uh, if they have a. Uh, How are day. you not better planned, Ramon? Well, already? I mean, I'm wondering. Like, was it a, is it a day off on Monday? Possibly. No, they play. Uh, let's see. Um, You're like the most prepared guy I know. Johnny Cueto, the Cueto. So, okay. No, but looks like I think Bra Braxton Garrett does feel like he will be the pitcher. Uh, maybe if any team was going to end up switching the pitching situation, it could be the Marlins. Although right now the other game is scheduled for Yuri Perez and uh, Julio Urias. So right now, I'm showing Braxton Garrett. Feel pretty solid about that. For the Dodgers, a bullpen game if they go with uh, Ryan Pepio here, who's back, uh, I guess. Well, geez, it looks like I had this one all messed up because I had Yuri Perez versus Caleb Ferguson. So I guess that's not no, really the way we're looking. Uh, you might, no, you definitely might have uh, that. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. You probably should preview it with that. If, if you have that, let me see. I mean, let me check the. Yeah, uh, it's tough, document. right? Like, <laughs> it's well, tough. Hey, we're the experts. I mean, I'm going to take a minute or two to give the most up to date information that I have uh, that I can you know, produce uh, here. Uh, Ferguson, yeah, he'll definitely get to see action somewhere today. Uh, right. He pitched on Thursday. He got the win through 12. Yeah, because who did I have versus Urias? <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's one that didn't print out because I didn't have enough places for me to print my sheet out because of the 18 games. Uh, so I'd have to look back on my spreadsheet here. Uh, but, yeah, for this one here, I'm just, uh, you know, taking all things considered, that I always think the Dodgers are the better team. Uh, might be a little bit frustrated with how that game went uh, last night. I had the over, so I uh, was pretty happy with how that one went. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm probably going to look to the under in this first game here, um, all things considered. Uh, I think that's going to be my best route just because I really don't know the pitching situation. I can't really make a, uh, you know, a, a better decision than that. I'm still going to go under. I think no matter who the pitchers are, uh, that's kind of probably going to be how this game goes. So taking the under. Okay. Then he goes under here. Uh, all I can uh, say about it, uh, Miami, they've been going over a little bit, but the Dodgers have gone under in eight of their last 10. Uh, we know the Dodgers had their 11 game winning streak snapped. I'm sure they'll be even with Pepio here. If this is the matchup, uh, like I said, I, I would, like I said, Minnie, it, it's going to be, uh, you know, Ferguson's going to be in there somewhere today. Uh, they're all going to be in there pretty much. Maybe, well, Varlin pitched 31 pitches last night. I probably uh, can probably scratch him from, uh, you know, probably getting in there. So uh, the other names I saw that are probably, um, they're all available, but Vesia pitched 10 pitches last night. Gonzalez, 18 pitches. So uh, maybe he can. Uh, you know, I don't know if he'll be in there or not. So whatever the case may be, 
a total bullpen situation, I'll, I'll take the Dodgers. They're probably going to be still a, even against Braxton Garrett. They might even be two dollars still with a bullpen game. Maybe what? Maybe a dollar seventy at the minimum. I'll just take the Dodgers on the money line. I always take the. I lost with them last night. Dodgers. Uh, I thought, oh man, I get the Dodgers at a dollar forty or whatever it was. Nice. I'm in it. I'm all yeah, in. Yeah, that was a pretty surprising score. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, they they like, crushed yesterday. So Gonsolin, it, it's an issue. I think at this point, I. Almost t- demoted uh, Lance Lynn to the bench, Mindy. Right now, Lance Lynn is probably going to be. Uh, <laughs> is probably he your least that. favorite Dodger pitcher right now? Uh, Lance Lynn? Yeah. No, I love Lance Lynn. Oh, I thought you said you demoted him to the bench. Well, I did. I well, I was saying that <laughs> when the when the Dodgers got to the postseason, boy, it's great to have a pitcher like Lance Lynn that can come in for middle relief. Uh, they acquired him, and while he's a starter now, certainly you know the who knows what the Dodger you know would you know Urias uh, Kershaw where would they go? But Lynn right now looks like he's emerging into a legitimate candidate to start playoff games with uh, how good he's been because the Dodgers are having issues. Gotcha. Yeah, right. Gotcha. Uh, Gonsolin, right when Gonsolin came, you know, first arrived on the scene with the Dodgers. You're expecting uh, big things, yeah. Well, and, but he was good. He was almost too good too soon. And I want to say too good too soon. But good for him. He, he was good right away. But he really has not re- ever returned to that form. And he was injured, don't forget, too. So, uh, you know, that could be something to that. All right, let's see here. Jeremy's on the fish. I think Dre's on the over here. Uh, Ron says Perez and Urias in the night. I, in the, I believe that's the night game, Ron. So that's why we went with this one first. So, yeah, sports. <laughs> He's just like, hey, what are we doing here? But let's just uh, <laughs> at least, uh, yeah, I, I probably agree with that, uh, Scotch, the way it's going. Okay. All right. Well, we're on record. Almost always take the Dodgers if you don't tell me what's going to happen. Phillies here with Chris San- Christopher Sanchez on the road, down to a dollar fifty here, and the total nine over twenty-five. All right, uh, let's see what do we have here. Like you said, Sanchez and Irvin, right? Uh, we're looking at ERAs for Christopher Sanchez that are like really not even there uh, on the road. Uh, 0.6 ERA with a 3.39 overall. So that split is pretty impressive. Uh, But again, not too many innings of work, only 15. Uh, Irvin, though, we know he has that elevated ERA, uh, 4.76. I'm going to go ahead and take the Phillies here today, Ramon. All right, Mindy, take the Phillies here, minus $1.50 on the road against those money-making Nats. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they – well, that's the way I see them anyway. Uh, uh, I had a premium on the Nats on the uh, run line yesterday, so that one still got okay. there. Okay. Um, that one did win. Uh, I, I'm going to agree, though, with you. I'm going to come back on the Phillies today <laughs> right. one at $1.50 oh, or so. Maybe we'll get enough to you know, Well, uh, road favorite, so I'm already a little bit skeptical. And the Nats, they've been playing well, but I'm going to try Sanchez in this spot. I, I think the chat's probably going to be uh, 50-50. I think they know what's going on with the Nats. Phillies have lost four of five. Nats have won 13 of 19. So the Nats are the ones. Fernando here on the Nats, but Ron likes the Phillies. Thomas says, what is the Nationals run line today? Plus one and a half minus a dollar twenty-five. And Sports Rule says keep rolling with that Nationals run line money or that Nationals money. Um Easy money. Philly. Oh, I've, I've been rolling with it, but not today. I'm not today. I'm gonna be on the Phillies in this one. Uh, Nationals Urban uh 4.37 ERA in his last four starts, but uh uh the Nationals bats have been doing well for him. 
Nationals have won his last five starts. Oh, but interestingly, all five have gone under. Butterscotch says first five run line for Philly. Sanchez is two, three, and six <laughs> with his first fives. Okay, we're on the Phillies here together on a favorite on the road. All right, it's your favorite thing to do. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Brewers and Rangers here with a Dane Dunning. This line is way down here. Uh, pretty sure these are the lines were accurate when I typed them in. So maybe has there really been this much of a move? I'm showing. Texas minus a dollar twenty, uh, eight over fifteen. That makes me want to go to the injury report. Is that something going on here? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You can uh, uh, take a look. Evaldi is the only one I know that's still uh, sitting out there on the on the yeah, well, I, mean, I, don't I don't know who else. Pass, but yeah, no. yeah. Uh, Dunning here has always been a little bit hard for me to back. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Brewers here with some plus money. I'm going to go ahead and take Freddie Peralta. He's been a little bit uh, having a couple issues here as of late, but hoping he gets back on track here. 4.5 ERA. It's Dunning that allows a 503 slugging percentage uh, versus this Brewers team. I know the Rangers score a lot of runs, so looking for a good uh, a good outing here for Peralta to get to that uh, Brewers uh, bullpen here. They are a lot better than the Rangers. So going to take a little bit of plus money with uh, Fernando's Brew Crew. Okay. The Brewers for Mindy at those Rangers. In uh, this one, okay. Um, yeah, wow. Eight over 15. That You were talking about the potential for runs. Is that what you were saying? Because I'm going to go with Maybe. the over. Well, I'm going to go with the over in this one. I like the over. Rangers, they certainly can mash. Uh, They've gone over in three of their last four games. They've won 12 of 16. Brewers have lost three of their last four. Peralta's gone over in three straight starts. Uh, I don't know if I want to. The Rangers, uh, to me, like I said, $1.40. Was it it $1.45? Was it anywhere close to that, Mindy? Uh, let's see what I have here. I started at minus 148. That is a, uh, that's value in my opinion. So I can't be on Milwaukee here. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the chat and see what they think of this one. Butterscotch is on Texas, but Ron's on the Brewers. It's going over. Uh, Jacoby, I agree. It's got to go over. Fernando <laughs> Brewers. Sports girls got so much easy money. All right. <laughs> Scott says Cubs win. Oh, the Brewers lose. Okay. He's talking pennant race. All right. Fernando's got a Mindy Parlay set up already. Mindy's <laughs> on the Brewers. I'm on the over. Uh, over was going to be a premium for me. I, I'm not. I don't want the Brewers with you. I just tend to take the over here. Uh, oh, Jeremy, okay. Texas team total over. That scares right. me a little bit because what is that price at now? Four and a half, five? On the Brewers team total over? The Brewers? Oh, well, no, I'm sorry. The Rangers team, what was it? Let me get back there. I don't know for sure. I'm going to guess Texas, like four and a half. Yeah, uh, four and a half is heavily juiced to the under. Heavily. Four and a half under 45. So, you could hmm. actually, yeah, that's uh, that's so that's actually right there built in. Whatever this line move is that's going on, I mean, it, it's built in some uh, kind of the market would say Peralta is going to have a pretty good start here, as a, you know, as, as for an underdog, right? We still expected to lose the game, but man, this thing's moving close to a dollar. 20-ish? I mean, all right, Josh, nice. Okay, here we go. Blue Jays and Reds. Bassett on the road here, minus $1.40. The total is 10 under 20. Yeah, so another uh, probably good game here again today. We still have a little bit of elevated ERAs here for uh, Bassett on the road, but I think I'm still going to go ahead and back him. Uh, 
what a crappy game yesterday, right? Wasn't it like a one to nothing, something like that? I expect a little bit more here out of the Blue Jays today. Uh, I think they, uh, you know, get the edge here on Williamson. Uh, eventually, I'm going to go ahead and take the Blue Jays here as uh, another short favorite. What are they sitting at? Minus 130, 140? Yeah. Yeah. I, and I like them, too, especially if it's – I do like them, Mindy. I, yeah, it's funny because, you know, I don't usually I see a uh, Brandon uh, Williamson here with a slugging percentage over one, 1. 1.819 versus this Blue Jays team. That's a big old number. All right. Well, he has a 3.180 ERA in his last five starts in Toronto. Look, we know the Reds have been struggling, but they got it. They found a way yesterday. We tried to go with Toronto. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> you you had the under. You had the under. Uh, so you, you know, I think there's something to be said for that. I do like Toronto here at this price. Another road favorite, but. <laughs> Follow. It's, not as, it's not as juiced as yesterday. What do we have? No, it at? Like, I get, yeah, no, you're right. I mean, yesterday uh, they were, you know, they were kind of uh, steamy a little bit. I mean, it was, um, you know, went from 140 to 150, 155. Here we're actually maybe saving those 15 cents. So, all right. Take a Toronto here in this one. I mean, they're still going under massively every game. They've gone under in 29 of their last. 38 games overall, and the Reds have gone under in 11 of their last 13. Williamson's gone under in five of his last seven starts. So a lot pointing to the under here, but careful, it's in Cincinnati. Okay. Big Lee is there. back. Gary Confredo, good morning. Nice, Gary. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Uh, let's take a look at a few comments in the chat. We've got Scotch on Toronto, but Thomas is on Cincinnati. Steph's stopping by today. Blake's on Toronto. Damien on the under. Nathan on the Reds. This is going back and forth, it feels like here. Jeremy says the Reds come back and do it again. Nathan on the under. Cincy 5-2, he says, in this one. Uh, if that's the case, and that is a uh, – you talk about locks, that would be <laughs> it right there. That's a Cincinnati lock right there, 5-2 to two as a – uh, there, plus too. Money underdog. Yeah. Bionic on the Jays, beating man on the Reds. All right. It's a toss-up in the chat, it feels like here. But I'm going to try Toronto again with Mindy, road favorite. Cincy, 5-2, he says, in this one. Uh, if that's the case, and that is a uh, – you talk about locks, that would be it right there. That's a Cincinnati lock right there, 5-2 to two as a – uh, there, too. Money underdog. Yeah. Bionic on the Jays, beating man on the Reds. All right. It's a toss-up in the chat, it feels like here. But I'm going to try Toronto again with Mindy, road favorite, Tigers and Guardians. Now, Manning did get pushed back to this start. Um, we, yesterday when we did the preview, I think we talked about Manning going yeah. in that game against Curry. Uh, I don't know. My, I don't know. I think we can we can take credit for the win with uh, Curry. <laughs> we did go. We did hit. I had Curry. You had the under. So uh, they did change pitchers, but well, we hit that game. Anyways, today though, Manning will be on the mound. In this one, it's uh, Cleveland 155 right now, and the total eight under 15. All right. I'm expecting another good matchup here, right? I mean, according to the numbers, it looks pretty good until you get to these uh, uh, slugging percentages. That's the only thing that worries me, right? They uh, get hit hard, both of these pitchers, Manning and Bybee. Uh, but I think the ERA here, um, I think, kind of wins the day for these two. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take Guardians and Bybee, his 1.7 ERA at home. Uh, pretty darn impressive. Doesn't give up the long ball, but again, he gets hit a little bit hard. Uh, but the Tigers don't really scare me uh, too much here offensively. Uh, so I'm going to be taking the Guardians, especially after getting swept yesterday. Yeah, right. Uh, what's up, Cleveland? 
Uh, that's Cleveland not, does not rock, right? That was not, oh, that just was not. That's not good timing. I mean, they, they continue to, you know, they've lost 13 of 19. Now, Bybee's been very, very strong. Uh, you know, Manning's four. Let's see. Let me make sure. It's, yeah, Manning got, yeah, because he got pushed back. So, all right. Yeah, I'm going to. Total is up there at eight, and this, you know, we know the Cleveland has, uh, you know, been a massive under, certainly, and Detroit's been going under as well. Uh, I'm going to end up here on this one. Um, I'm going to take the Tigers on the run line. Okay. At um, <laughs> 164. Minus 160. I All right. I would have already said it. Minus 160 here <laughs> for the Tigers on the run line. Mindy's on the Guardians. Uh, yeah. Let's see what the chat says. All right. Uh, it's uh, maybe Blake's on the under in this one. Not sure. Here's Guardians money line and run line for Jared. Thomas is on the Guardians here on the money line. Bionic will take the Tiger. Uh, did I say wrong? Thank you, Fernando, if I did say it incorrectly. Mindy on the Brewers, and I am on the over in that last game. Okay. Right, Mindy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. no, I yeah, was – I, was I, I yeah. may have said it he wrong. Thought I said, uh, he thought I said Nationals, but we're on the Phillies. Oh, here is the Mariners and the Astros uh, in this one. Low scoring game yesterday. Yeah, but we we're on the Mariners. They got it done. Astros minus a dollar forty-five. Yeah, we had the Mariners as a premium winner yesterday. Good job. Total here is eight under fifteen. I'm looking forward to this one again. What a great game yesterday. Uh, looking for more. I mean, uh, I don't know if Rodriguez can be more hot right now. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and be back on the Mariners. Uh, when the bats are hot, I'm going to kind of stick with them until they uh, slow down here. Plus, you got Gilbert on the mound. He's always been uh, pretty good, but a guy that lacked run support. Now they're giving runs. Um, I think he gets the better of uh, Valdez here today, taking the Mariners. Plus money. Yeah, I, you know, it's funny because Gilbert, he's starting to get – I want to say he's getting too popular. I mean, he's five and five and zero oh in his last eight starts. I mean, how you know he's been very very solid. Seattle continues to be red hot. Astros though, still you know in good position. This is quite a battle here in this. Yeah, Seattle's like five and two. I think they said over uh, in their last couple series so far. Wow. They yeah, I was kind of surprised too because I kind of felt like you know with uh, uh, you know how they got the best of them there and the. Uh, in the divisional series. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, Valdez has had, he kind of dominates the Mariners five and Oh, with a 2.05 ERA in eight starts against Seattle. So um, I'm going to end up, I'm going to be on the over here. I lost a premium with the under yesterday, but I'm still going to play the over here in this one at eight. The Mariners have gone under in just two of their last eight games and the Astros have gone under in just four of their last 11 games. Both pitchers have gone over in four of their last six starts. So I'll try the over here, even though we saw, uh, you know, good pitching yesterday. And, uh, yeah, this is a, one of the feature attractions on this card for sure. Yeah. Here, Butterscotch says Seattle is a money line lock. Thomas Lewis says, give me the Mariners on the money line. Boy, it's a lot of Seattle in there. It is. A lot more than I uh, expected here today with Fran Brown on the mound. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I've i just got maybe a little bit of a discount here with Houston, and I think they can get one. But, hey, love what the Mariners are doing. I don't know why. Uh, they do blow a lot of leads. God, they do. <laughs> Probably as many as the Royals. The Royals are up to like over 40 blown leads. <laughs> well, like, it's legit, legit. True stat. All right, Mindy on the Mariners here. I'll take the over Pirates and Pirates and Twins. 
Keller on the Twins here, a dollar seventy now. It's maybe it's going up. Eight and a half, eight and a half over fifteen. The total is definitely going up, 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 up. Yeah, nearly a really? whole run. Really? I'm gonna take the under, Ramon. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna go on this one. Uh, with uh, what do we got? Right, Mitch Keller sitting at uh, four point two seven ERA. Uh, Sunny Gray three point zero four. I know it's not. Uh, you know, Sunny Gray has not always been the favorite of this chat group. Uh, but yeah, I think they do uh, well enough to keep uh, the uh, folks off the bases here today. Uh, Pirates still only scoring four runs of offense per game. Only allow 4.22. Uh, I think this one's going to go under. Why nobody likes Sonny Gray in the chat? Yeah, I. they always say that he chokes. I don't know what to tell you. All right. <laughs> Certainly been around a while. Uh, Mindy will uh, take the uh, – what would you say, under? Yeah, I'm taking under. So I'm all right with where that scheme's going, Ramon. Keep going up. Yeah, no, I mean, it definitely came in just uh, within the last half hour or so to drive this one higher. And uh, I, w I was feeling it, actually. I was feeling the over at eight. I'm a little bit worried now here at this one. I'm going to I'm gonna end up on the Pirates here, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what the chat has to say. But, uh, oh, slides are pretty high. I know the Pirates are, you know, pretty bad shape, but <laughs> not this price. I'm probably going to be doing it. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, we got Nathan, we got I'm always contrary. Yeah. Uh, I think they, these two pitchers are pretty dependable. Bionics on the Twins. Dre here says under. Nathan, what is this? Uh, first five. Under four and twins run line. Okay, got it. Sports girl on the twins, Burley on the twins. Thank you to the chat today uh, and all the viewers that are here. Jeremy's gonna take you. Okay, good. I have somebody with me here in this one, Mindy. I was, I'm gonna Tiffany, uh, just said she's taking the pirates over online too. Yeah, I'm gonna try the, I'm gonna try the dog. I'm going, to, I'm going to try the dog here. Keller has been bad. I mean, I, I can't. Yeah. Keller, 80 already in his last six starts. Gray's been solid. I know that. But uh, this price going up here. Probably should take a little money line. Uh, let me, but I already committed to the. I think I committed to the money line here. All right. All right, we got to get through these. Here come the Mets and Senga on the road against the Cards. Mets are a slight favorite here, minus 115. Total is 8 over 20. Uh, so this might be my my favorite play uh, thus oh. far. I'm going to go ahead and take the Mets. I feel like this is going to be easy pickings for the Mets uh, with Nicholas here on the mound. Um, I mean, he just got crushed last time. Um, I think he gave up like six earned runs and like, I don't know, three innings, something like it was just bizarre. Uh, and I love what Senga has been doing. Hasn't allowed a home run like in, I don't know how many games uh, his last, uh, I don't know, nine or something like that. It's like pretty wild numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Mets in this one. And I like it. It's only setting at minus 115. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got to, I've got to try the Mets today with saying uh, Mets. They've won four of their last five. So, I mean, we know they, uh, you know, packed it in a long ago. But that's probably when you're going to want to take the Mets, right? Then the pressure's off a little bit. Cardinals have lost three straight now. Nicholas has lost. He's zero three in his last four starts. Nicholas three and eleven in his yeah. last fourteen starts. Uh, cards are three and fourteen in his last fourteen starts. Mets five and two in Senga's last seventeen starts. Senga's gone under in fourteen of his last eighteen starts. Cardinals have gone under in fourteen of their last nineteen. I'm gonna take the Mets here with Mindy on the road against the cars. This is a more manageable road favorite. I'm not too... Right. We don't have to lay the 160s. 
the age of 90s were better is here today. As like the under, I do believe. Butterscotch says this is an easy choice. Take the Mets. Taki is on the Mets. Ty Clinton Mets all day. I'm not too excited about the Mets, but I like the Mets. Right. Hi, Michael Just Thompson. The Mets <laughs> is the bet. Says Jimmy. All right. Nathan says Mets cards under eight. Take the Mets on the run line. Teresa's got the Mets. It's all about these Mets. Okay. Sing, oh, sing, yeah, sing. sing that's what I, that's what it's from, Butterscot, right? Is that old uh, Sega? Sega. Some people might not know. A billionaire mentality is here. Oh my gosh! Hello, to billionaire mentality. Like I've never seen. Billionaire I got a billionaire mentality, mentality, mentality too. I just oh my gosh! Don't welcome, have the billions welcome, of dollars. Welcome, representing new viewers today. Or new commenters, anyway, is billionaire mentality. We're on the Mets, Giants, Giants and Braves. Webb and Torino's here. I'm showing Webb. Uh, I'm showing the Braves as a favorite here, Minnie. It's actually up to maybe a dollar twenty, nine and a half under twenty. Oh goodness, uh, yeah. B Love just showed up too. So uh, thanks for watching, you guys. We appreciate oh, it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like the Giants always have a little bit of a chance whenever they got Logan Webb here on the mound. He only allows a 400 slugging percentage versus this uh, Braves team. And you got Chirinos, uh, that he gives up a 600 slugging percentage. So, I mean, it might be the game that the San Francisco Giants team gets. I'm going to take them and get a, what, even money? Something like that. So, uh, going Giants here today. I think Webb has a nice Hey, you had the Braves yesterday on the run line. You know what's going on uh, in this series, Sometimes. I do believe. So. Yeah, Torinos has just been kind of, should I say it, like bad? Yeah, well, well yeah, he's got a 9.33 ERA in his last, in his four starts with Atlanta. The problem is Atlanta, they're still red hot. Giants have lost nine of their last 12. I mean, I want to be on Webb. Uh, I think in this spot, 2.11 ERA in his last three starts, uh, only getting even money here. I do want to take the Giants today in this one. I mean, the problem is the Braves aren't even what they got. Is it three shutouts in a row right now, or what's going on? Oh, I don't know. I guess. Hmm. Hope the Giants can score. I want to. I'm going to take them with. I'm going to take them. All with. right, let's do it. Hold our breath for the Giants on the money line. All right, you guys, are the, are the Braves even giving up a run this week? I don't know. I'd have uh, to go look. Matt T here today from the network says take the Giants. Hi, Matt. Thomas on the Braves. Takita's going to take the Giants with us. Yep. A butterscotch on the Braves here. Yeah, David Federici. Hello, David. Hello. Yes, they are hot. That's, you know, that's the thing. I just think it's going to be Chirinos, the way he's been pitching. You know, it's going to be the, the maybe the Giants day. We'll see how it goes. The 90s were better, says take the Grand Salami under, it feels like here. Yeah, I show lots of unders today. Okay. Take the Giants today. We're going to try the Giants here at even money. White Sox and Rockies. Jesse Schultons here on the road. Minus $1.15. And the total here is $12. Uh, Mindy, I gave out the over yesterday in this one. It did go way over. Geez, did it go over in like the second inning? I mean, what Rockies, yeah. Uh, Tony had the Rockies. Maybe it was the fifth inning. Oh, he did have the Rockies as a premium, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, 
I guess I'll just come back on the White Sox today. I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Schultens here. 2.62 ERA on his uh, split, so it does pretty well. Uh, Freeland for the Rockies, uh, you know, strikes out 7.9 or 7.9 per nine innings, uh, but then walks 3.9 per nine innings. So puts a lot of folks on. And again, that always makes me a little bit wary when these starting pitchers have those uh, high walk percentages out there. So I'm going to go ahead and take the White Sox today. All right, Mindy says, let's go White Sox here uh, on the road. Freeland a 5.61 ERA in his last six starts. Colorado has lost 15 of 23, despite that big number they put up there yesterday. White Sox have lost five of their last six. Um, tempted to go with them here, though. <laughs> Got to be <laughs> honest. Uh, tempted to go with them here. Let's see. I'm sure the chat. I, I'm, I'm thinking they're going to. Oh, there is some White Sox here. For sure. Okay, if there's some White Sox. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, Jimmy on the White Sox. The 90s were better, says so just play solid team. No, we got to play every game. <laughs> play <the> White Sox. <laughs> Butterscotch, White Sox. Let's take them before I get to Drake. Right. He's on Colorado. Number five, consensus. Bionics on the White Sox. And Fernando's on the Rockies. Sports Girl says Rockies. Ron's got the Rockies on the do not bet list. <laughs> now, let's take the, the White Sox here on the road. And Nathan says he's got the White Sox winning this one. All right. We do know this one looks like, and let you know. Like I said, could be any changes. But remember, you're sending pitchers to bed that have been preparing them. Like being a major league pitcher is like a real big issue. You know, you got to be mentally. So when you've been thinking you're going to pitch on Saturday night for like the last four days, you're going to probably pitch on Saturday night, uh, right? You're not going to – There. that's why I think we're seeing the uh, – bullpen game shift in the daytime and then keep your regular starters in the night game. No reason to even push them up like five hours or so, because that's just not how this works. Uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like I got to go against you, Darvish, today. I like him, but uh, I don't think today is the day I'm going to go with Merrill Kelly instead. He uh, continues to put up good numbers here, <clears throat> a two ERA in his last three starts, pretty decent. Uh, I think the Diamondbacks get him in the late uh, game here. I'll take him a little bit of plus money. Padres were all about the excitement last night. Woo, Padres. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Arizona. You know, they Padres get one big game. And look, Fernando Tatis Jr., you know, he's electrifying still. Maybe he was not as clutch this season as they needed him to be. But that was an exciting home run anyway. Yesterday, I'll take the Diamondbacks today to beat my Padres. All yeah, right. yeah the Padre. I don't go against him every time. You guys think right. I'm, I'm totally right. down on these guys. But uh, today, I'm going to come back with the Diamondbacks here in game two. Uh, you know, a little bit shaky because you got to go through the whole deal with you know, how many pitchers got used in game one. Merrill Kelly's been good, man. Darvish has been – I know you're, you know, you're more down on him of late. He's I am, yeah. 2.42 ERA in his last four starts, definitely matching what Kelly's <laughs> been doing of late, but the Padres don't win those games. Padres have lost five of his last six starts uh, overall. So – Chat might be holding back a little bit in this one because of the doubleheader situation. We do see some Padres support there. Uh, Arizona for Dre. Jamie Stewart's here. Good morning. He's calling for help. SOS. That's what I'm the thinking of socks. Oh, okay. But which socks? Probably would have to be the 
White, White Sox, Sox because you know, that was a game. Unless Jamie's way behind, but okay. Butterscotch on Arizona as well. So, again, not as many opinions here from the chat on the doubleheaders. The Orioles and the Athletics in their regular scheduled game. They're one regular game. scheduled programming. All right. Here we go. Irvin, a dollar seventy, eight and a half over 20. Okay, well, let's see. What do we have here, Ramon? Um, I don't know. I guess I'm going to go on the Orioles, right? Uh, they're sitting at what? Minus 176. Do I want to go ahead and take them um, on the run line? I think I will. I'll go ahead and lay the one and a half runs here today. <clears throat> Excuse me, with uh, Irvin. He's been doing pretty well. 3.67 uh, overall. Only gives up a 247 uh, slugging percentage here. I'm going to go ahead and go with the Orioles. I'll take him on the run line. Yeah, Irvin has been sharp. A 1.26 ERA in his last three starts. The Orioles have went 5-1 and one in those six starts. So uh, for me, I'm going to probably end up on the total here. Walter Chuck has a 6.07 ERA. That's this it? Season and a two and seven record. <laughs> yeah, it's not great, but no. still laying a pretty big number here uh, in this one. Man, it's an eight and a half. That's not that's not great. But I'm gonna go over here with the Orioles and the A's today in this one. We had the over yesterday, Mindy. Remember on the show as a premium, I believe. Yep, and it went over. over. That was one of our winners. I'll go back on the over again. Uh, lots of Orioles support in this one for sure. Everybody loves the Orioles on the road. They're 39 and 24 on the road. Jeremy's on the Orioles. Jimmy's on the run line. Here's Nathan, though. He says, I'll try Kenny Wall to check. Here's Blake on the Orioles run line. Dre is on the Orioles run line. Michael said, Mike says lay the uh, adjusted run line there. I mean, the alternate run line. Uh, Butterscotch here on Baltimore. Boy, everyone's on Baltimore. I feel like I should be on Baltimore here. <laughs> Everybody, Baltimore. Gunnar Henderson. Billionaire mentality says Walter Chuck gets shelled. Jared goes over by on everybody's on the O's but me, apparently. <laughs> maybe later. Yeah, maybe I'm on, I don't know. Hmm. Not going to say I'm on the A's. I'm just not going to lay a <laughs> run and a half here at this point. Uh, in that one. Okay, let's take a look here uh, with So Game 2. Rays and Eflin, Angels and Sandoval. Rays here, favorite. I'm showing now a dollar twenty. Yes, nine under twenty. Total's gone up a little bit here. It's nine under twenty. Yeah, it's one of these like I, you know, it's hard. I think, uh, especially with the way that the Rays have been playing, uh, to go ahead and take them to sweep this double header. I think I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna lean that way. Uh, Sandoval just hasn't been good to me uh, at all this season uh, as an A's fan or Angels fan. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take the Rays. I just think they get to Sandoval. He just hasn't been sharp here um, at all this season. So it's going to be tough to sweep today, I think. But I'm going to go ahead and take the Rays and say they are going to get the sweep. I'm going to go that route. All right. Mindy takes Tampa Bay here. On the road, Sandoval 5.65 ERA in his last three starts. The Angels are 3-11 and in his last 14 starts. For Zach Eflin here, uh, uh, 3.94 ERA in his last three starts. Eh, I'm going to be on the over here, I think, in this one. Already missed out on probably the best number. I, I was I had the under yesterday. Uh, Mindy is a premium and lost. Ah, oh, extra innings, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
And so uh, it's not why I'm coming in on the over, just making a narrative here, but I'm going to be on the over today with these two. So is Jacoby, I think. Let's see if we got some plays here. Bionic on the raise, Butterscotch on the raise. Remember, we got it. It's a double header. Yeah. Mike's here today. Says Razor really good this year. They are, but I think it, as we're watching them here kind of melt down a little bit, we feel bad. Um, yeah, it's their pitching situation kind of melt, melted down, I think. Yeah, well, look, they, you know, McClanahan, now they've got more injuries on the pitching, not to, men, you know, not to mention everything else that was going on. So, and, and we don't know, you know, I mean, that other situation developed. I mean, they probably felt like because that, information i guess we've kind of missed it a little bit it was kind of out there and nobody put two and two together or whatever okay uh over for dre yes over for dre there and i will take the over and mindy says take the raise here okay we're almost done mindy yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. Marlins and Dodgers here. Perez and Urias in game two. I'm showing for uh, Urias a dollar eighty, and the total is down to eight. Eight flat. Well, I'll take the Dodgers on the run line here. I think this is where they get back into form, get into shape. Uh, I think they uh, take it to him here with Urias on the mound. He's been doing. Uh, pretty awesome late. He started off a little bit rough, uh, only giving up two runs in like his last four art, four outings here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Dodgers here on the run line. Mindy laying that run line with the Dodgers here in this one. Boy, I'm sure the Dodgers can uh, get this. Uh, can they get the run line here, though? Man, that totals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna end up on the over here in this one. Even with Perez and Urias, I will take the over. I don't know what got into the Marlins yesterday with that, that big <laughs> eleven to three or whatever. Outburst, yeah. Uh, you know, I had I went Dodgers premium. That's okay. I mean it was unexpected for sure. One thing I like about the Dodgers is uh, they make you some money here, at least this season, uh, even as a – right? Because funny, you know, you think of teams that are big-name big, big name teams, sometimes they disappoint at the window but uh, because they're always favored, but not the Dodgers this year. They started off kind of a, a dog and, well, they're looking great. Perez has a 90 already in his last four starts. Perez has gone under – in uh, nine of his last 11, so that's got to be of some concern for me, but I'm going to, in this double header here, I'm going to be on the over in game two. Okay, and Mindy says take the Dodgers run line. Chat probably has a few plays here. And Burley's on, oh, no, let me see. Oh, here's Butterscotch. He's got the Run line here with the Dodgers. Verley Dodgers a run line. Oh, oh, got it. I think Jacoby's on the over. Michael Thompson Dodgers run line. And a billionaire mentality as well. Bionic on the Dodgers. I think Teresa says go Dodgers here. 